changes blow. It's official. President Obama will announce his plans for executive action on immigration tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, I'm going to be announcing here from the White House some steps that I can take to start fixing our broken immigration system. Washington has allowed the problem to fester for too long. But what I'm going to be laying out is the things that I can do with my lawful authority as president to make the system work better, even as I continue to work with Congress. No jacket. <laughs> okay, while the final details aren't entirely clear, some reports suggest the president's move may expand visas for up to 5 million <gasps> illegal immigrants. White House spokesman Josh Earnest says the American people expect this type of leadership. By any measure, uh, upon uh, reviewing the actions that the president has chosen to take, uh, an impartial observer would conclude uh, that the president has sought to maximize the use of his authority to try to solve these problems. And frankly, I think that's what the American people expect the President of the United States to do. Nice jacket. But a new NBC Wall Street Journal poll finds that is not what the American people want. Only 38% support the President's unilateral move on immigration. Greg, do you think that um, when they say that this is what the people want, that that's really what the people want? No, I, I, I keep saying every time I hear President Obama speak, Joe Wilson keeps getting vindicated. And I remember I said that I didn't like what Joe Wilson said that time when he said that Obama was lying. But every time I, I hear him, I go, well, Joe Wilson's right. Look, President Obama keeps saying that the Im immigration is broken. It's only broken because he's not enforcing the law. It's like he's a reckless driver who's mm -hmm. blaming the road for his ticket. He's, if you just follow the laws, you know what? There, you only do things rash when there's an, an exceptional necessity. And the exceptional necessity here is purely political, creating a voting block. He thinks he's going to create a hu right. huge mass of people that are going to vote. But you know what? Maybe these new illegal immigrants will be, uh, are, they're family-minded, they're religious. They might be Eisenhower Republicans, and you don't even know it. How, how do you think uh, 11 million got in here? If he's not following the law, why did 11 million get here before he was even elected president? Well, I, how did all the, how did all the, how did law, all, well, you know what? Maybe, you it's that. a good point. Maybe we should Thank have you. a, maybe should, to your you. four, well, a secured border. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, but Excellent. I, I I think the, the issue is whether the exec, using the executive pen to allow f four or five or whatever million the end up being, yeah. not well, that, that, not whether, that whether that's following law, especially when you're on camera. Yeah. And again, you and I talk about this. You can say a lot of things in private. When you say it on tape time and time again that I'm not going to do something like that and you go ahead and do it, you, you can be called either a liar or if, a if, if, and he Can I just ask, everyone, is everyone tired of fix the broken blank system, whether yeah. it's immigration, whether it's welfare, whether it's health care? Basically what is... He's doing this to fix a broken X system, this time immigration. In, in other words, saying, this is what I want to do. You need to fix the White House. That's broken. A broken <laughs> presidential situation. The presidency yeah. is broken. Do you so, think those things are broken? Uh, immigration can be fixed. Health care can be, be fixed. fixed. Yeah, that means they're broken. Welfare can no, be fixed. No, they could be maybe so improved upon. So security can be fixed. Right. But, but How about he, just he starting with I'm following sorry. the law? He operates on the assumption that the United States itself is broken. Well, that's what he thinks. Okay. Can I ask something, though? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking I, over. Um, Kimberly, let me ask <laughs> yeah. you something. One of the questions is whether or not the president has legal authority to mm -hmm. do this. Mm -hmm. There is a dispute about that. There are, there are people who say yes, people who say no. I'm sort of sitting back waiting to see. From your legal perspective, do you think the president has the discretion under the law to be able to do up to 5 million people this as This is amnesty? how it splits. If you like him and you're for his reckless ideology and you don't mind people who just, you know, ignore the law, then yes, he can do it under executive authority and executive action. If you follow the Constitution and the law, you see that he is, in fact, exceeding his powers in doing this because this is what he wants to get done. He does not care about the criticism and he is actually not that concerned about the law. He's only interested in achieving his objective. So you, and agree, you to, agree that Ronald Reagan did the same thing, right? I'm not no. having a conversation with you about Ronald Reagan. I'm Why? talking about the news right Why? now, which is the president the on the eve of the president's speech oh, for immigration there and is his a difference agenda. Between the two. And what I'm telling you right now is he is using executive action. I do not believe that he has the authority to do so. And not only does he not have the authority, we don't have the money for this because this is directly going to impact Americans that are here legally right now, paying taxes, etc. Because what we're going to do is give immediate benefits to all of the illegals that are coming in and they'll be, have access to the welfare systems, etc. This is going to be so, very costly. It is financially and economically reckless the way that he's if, acting. If, if, the, if the Supreme Court 
uh, finally, this thing's going to go to court, obviously. If eventually the Supreme Court, and you're, you believe the judicial system rules that it is within its right to do so, will you then say, okay, fine? Can I ask you a If the Supreme Court rules it, then I will respect like, the law. Like Obama, I mean, it doesn't like mean Obama. that it's a good idea. Say, yeah, exactly. Why? Why use the executive power when, when executive privilege, when the Republicans have already said they agree they need the system needs to be fixed and they'd like to come and bring something forward? Why do it in... In a month, when you wait one more month, and you can open the it up to both sides, a bipartisan to do this and agreement. Done it. No, no, but why well, wait? Why, why, why not just wait? Because up? first of all, it's up to me. Just no, 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 no. Why is Obama? Because doing? I think the Republicans don't want immigration. I don't think they want these Democratic Everybody voters coming in. To. I don't think they want this stuff because they don't want. But they're all saying. I'll tell you why. I'll tell yes. you why. I am baffled by the politics. I've tried to put myself in their shoes, try to figure it out. I think that because the White House leaked so many details mm -hmm. uh, in the midterm election leading up to it, saying that he would do it by the end of the year that the president is under tremendous pressure and from his day two weeks ago when he said we're not red or blue America we're the United States of America we can work together we'll get things done he had no intention of doing that Thank you. and I do think that all the good things that we thought we've talked about leading up to the midterm about what President Obama could get done in a divided Congress is going to be di very, much more difficult to do going forward because everyone's gonna be so mad every one of these members of Congress their phones are ringing off the hook telling them do something to stop him. That's why you were elected. That's why we just had the wave that we had. Yeah, there, it's there's a tremendous uh, amount of. Do you think that's why? On, on this is a serious question. I'm not trying to this. mess up the subject here, but you think that's why one, they know they can't override his veto. So you think that's the reason some of the impeachment talk is going on? I think impeachment talk is brought up mostly by the media who would love to watch that story and not by people who are in Congress who are serious. I think. Okay, up next, should the debate over climate change be framed as a moral issue like civil rights? One Washington Post columnist thinks so, and Greg will take him on. I will.